guys, in this video I want to go over real quickly how to change themes in OTR2 and just a little bit of information about testing themes for your own development. As you know, OTR2 requires you to use the Storyteller OTR2 theme. Now you're allowed to make customizations to that theme, uh, feel free to have at it. They will operate as expected, assuming you don't go in and take out the important code in the theme itself. Now, that being said, uh, unfortunately, you won't be able to use themes that other developers have made. Uh, you can, however, take those themes, and if you're familiar with editing uh, themes in Reaper, uh, you should be able to come up with some good hybrid version of that by hacking together the uh, components of their theme into the OTR2 theme. So that being said, um, if you do go down the path of testing out your own themes in development, you'll notice that on the Reaper menu, um, you no longer have the ability to change what's called the TCP and MCP layouts for tracks. Used to, um, you could right click on the track and you'd have this ability to change the TCP and MCP layout. Now TCP represents uh, the track view and MCP represents the mixer view. So each of those were user selectable. Um, because OTR2 had themes use so many TCP and MCPs, it kind of broke the Reaper menu. Just to be very transparent on that, uh, it, it, the Reaper menu could not display as many items as are in the OTR2 theme. So if you are going to go down the testing path, um, real simply, to access the TCP and MCP sections, you'll just right click on a track, you'll go to the OTR2 developer menu, go to change TCP and MCP layout, and you will find all of the various TCP and MCP layouts available in the OTR2 theme bundle. Now, it doesn't allow you to select one or the other, so you can't assign one of these to a TCP and one of them to an MCP. The idea behind OTR2 is that you will design unique themes that will work for the TCP and MCP together. Uh, if this is above your head, don't worry about it. This is for uh, those people that get into theme editing. Uh, you'll, you'll know specifically who you are and you'll recognize what I said. Uh, otherwise, just know that from a theming standpoint, you'll be left with just selecting the themes that are available within the OTR2 theme menu. So you can change themes. You, what you're looking at right now is the default theme included with OTR2. It's a combination of the original Reaper 5 theme and the original Reaper 6 theme and various other themes and customizations I've seen over the years that I liked. Um, I felt like this built the best usability within the theme itself. You can visually see all the things you need to without it being too cluttered. Now, to access different themes, you can go up to the options menu and you can go to themes and you will see the inside of the theme menu. Uh, you'll have a couple selections. Storyteller OTR V2, that's the default. Um, I'm gonna skip down to the bottom. Classic 1.x, this is just a Reaper default. It keeps it in there, so just ignore that one. Um, the other two themes, you have one that is a modification of the OTR2 theme by Chris Richter, and you have this other one, which was a modification by Joel uh, Wilkinson, I believe, uh, but they both have provided their modifications to the OTR community. So big shout out to those guys. Thanks very much. Uh, and let me show you what they are. So Joel, Joel's mod um, is a dark mode. So when you click on that, you'll see that he has taken the main backgrounds and uh, just modified them to keep it a darker look. I think he mentioned in his thread on VI Control that he likes to run this with a gamma of 1.15, which basically just means a darker appearance overall inside of Reaper. Now, I'm going to go back, so just to kind of show you the difference. Regular theme has the light background. Joel's had the darker background. Now, I'm going to go to uh, Chris's theme, Chris Richter. And if you click on that one, you'll see that his theme has made a lot of changes, which are actually very cool. Um, he's condensed down the height of the tracks so you can get more tracks on a screen at once and made various other modifications throughout the uh, template. So if one of these suits you, feel free to use it. Um, make modifications yourself. If you have questions, let me know. I'll be happy to try to point you in the right direction with theming and making modifications. But for now, that's all for this video.
Thanks for watching.